that Yeah, popular. that has to be probably, I'd say, yeah. the most memorable talked about story you know, feel good story yeah. of the year. Well, you know, I mean, it's just, it's good TV. And, you know, when I think about other stories, like, you know, the drummer that you found along yeah. Highway, 55, yeah, Highway 55, same concept, where it's just, it's just fun to be a part of those stories. We're and surrounded by yeah. stories. All we have to yeah. do is just kind of open our eyes every yeah. now and then and just take a look. Yeah, yeah so great. if you have any ideas yeah. on idea, you know, on stories, we're always looking. And it's just so fun. Absolutely. Yeah. That's cute. All right. Okay, I wish I could t teach my Shih Tzu to do that, but oh. I think the bowling ball is bigger than my dog, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't work very well. Okay. In fact, <laughs> my dog is such a little roly-poly, he'd probably roll down the uh, bowling alley very Aww. nicely. Yeah. But of course, I wouldn't do that. No. No. I love and my not the ferret too either. Much. Okay, folks, so we have a little bit of shower activity that is gathering out there to the west. Now, again, this is a very fast-moving, fairly weak storm, and what that means is Yes, we'll probably see some showers, but don't expect to see anything that's going to come to the rescue of the local ski resorts anytime soon. I wish I could tell you something bigger, maybe something a little more optimistic looking next week. But for right now, here's the way things are going to be playing out with the future cast. Let's go to first of all, right around midnight tonight. There you can see a little snow taking place around the West Central Mountains. Notice the moisture gathering around midnight, very, very close to the Treasure Valley. Then I think the front comes through with the greatest potential for showers, I would say just before sunrise tomorrow morning. So some of that could be a little wintry mix. Could see a little freezing rain around parts of the lower Treasure Valley, or we could see just a rain snow mix, or we could see just a straight up shot of rain. The temperatures are just right at that threshold right there. Now we'll go to 7, 8 o'clock in the morning again. A couple of little showers are still possible, but the front is now racing off into the Magic Valley at 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. And then by lunchtime and the afternoon, we start drying out with a mixture of sunshine and clouds. And the core of the storm is affecting the southeastern part of the state. And then looking into Sunday, we should be fairly dry with some night and morning low clouds and fog. That is going to be a possibility. But boy, do we desperately need to see some showers falling in the form of snow. And I think our local ski resorts are probably going to pick up about one to three inches of snow out of this fast moving front that we get tonight and early tomorrow morning. So there's the weather story. Rain, snow chance early tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies on Sunday. Increasing clouds on Monday with what appears to be a little more active volley of weather around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Still too early to pinpoint if it's going to be rain or if it's going to be a mixture thereof of rain and snow in parts of the valley and hopefully at least snow for the mountains. So 39 degrees is our current temperature reading outside right now. That is several degrees above the average for this time of the year. So there's our little weak disturbance. Notice we have storms out here. We got storms out there in the Pacific Ocean. But all we're getting is this little fast moving front, very narrow, punches through tonight, tomorrow morning, then the drier air comes in. Then it's those additional storms that we see out there. Those are the ones I'm hoping will be a little more active for us next week. So the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Let's go with a chance of showers late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Again, it could be a little wintry mix or it could just be rain showers. Highs tomorrow around 37 degrees on Sunday, partly cloudy skies, increasing clouds on Monday. And then it looks like a potential for showers again on Tuesday and maybe even a little rain snow mix in the valley on Wednesday with the models saying, hey, something else could be coming in around Friday. So at least we're seeing an active pattern and at least the inversion is really kind of staying away. The mountains should see a little snow early tomorrow morning, one to three maybe across some of the ski resorts and then a little better chance of some snow on Tuesday and Wednesday and maybe again something around Friday. And notice I use words like maybe because okay. it's it's just until the pattern decides to break and we become more active, uh, I have to be cautiously optimistic about what the models are indicating for the future. Okay, Roland, okay. thank you. you